This is not a list for the faint of heart. I'll tell you one thing for sure. The people of the past were absolutely ruthless. From the infamous breaking wheel to some more gruesome methods like keel hauling, these punishments are terrifying, terrible, and just downright shocking. Let's dive right into the top 10 shocking punishments throughout history. Starting off this list, in our number 10 spot, we have scaphism. All right, you guys, this one is also known as the boats or being eaten alive. And really, whatever way you swing it, it absolutely sucks so badly. This is an ancient method of execution that involved putting someone sandwiched between two boats stacked on top of one another. From here, they'll feed the person and cover them in milk and honey, and then they just leave them. From here, the substance is on and in the person will fester and attract bugs and other small vermin, which will then basically eat that person who can't fend for themselves alive. Not only would being eaten alive be one of the worst ways to go, but this process was in incredibly lengthy and ensured the person suffered for a really long time. Like, we're talking over 10 days here. In one of the first written mentions of scaphism, which comes from Plutarch in the life of Artaxerxes, while talking about the execution of Mithridates, he said, quote, when the man is manifestly dead, the uppermost boat being taken off, they find his flesh devoured and swarms of such noisome creatures preying upon and, as it were, growing to his inwards. In this way, Mithridates, after suffering for seven 17 days at last expired. So uh, yeah, anyway, if Plutarch wants to go pay for my therapy after that, I'd be really grateful. In our number nine spot today, we have drawn and quartered. This was a popular form of punishment and became the statutory penalty for men who were convicted of high treason in the Kingdom of England from 1352, although this form of punishment certainly existed well before that. Basically, whoever the convicted was, they would be secured to some sort of wooden panel and then drawn by horse to wherever this whole thing was going down. That wasn't said casually to make light of this horrible punishment, I'm just uncomfy, so I'm trying to keep it cool and casual. So once at the place of execution, the person would then be hanged, almost to the point of them losing their life, but from there, they would then be emasculated, for lack of a better term, disemboweled, beheaded, and then quartered, or chopped into four pieces. All right, and because this simply wasn't enough for some insane reason, the pieces would then be displayed in prominent places across the country. Like, no, I do not want to see someone's upper right quadrant while going for breakfast. I'll pass on that. Thank you so much, though. In our number eight spot today, we have Mazatello. This one was a method of capital punishment that was occasionally used by the Papal States for only some of the most terrible crimes or crimes that were considered especially loathsome. Basically, the person who was being executed would be led to a scaffold that was located in the public square because they didn't have Netflix back then, so instead they just watched people die. I don't know, it was weird. I'll keep watching Ginny and Georgia instead. But anyway, the person would be accompanied by a priest, and on this scaffold would lie a coffin and a masked executioner who was dressed in black. A prayer would be said for the soul of the condemned, and then when the time came, the executioner would swing a mallet into the air and then bring it down on the head of the prisoner. Sometimes this one blow would be enough to take their lives, and sometimes it would merely render them unconscious, which would then lead to their throat being cut. None of this sounds good. This one sucks so bad. I feel bad giving you guys this information. Next video, can it be like top 10 nice, cool, wonderful flowers or something instead? Top 10 dogs. Let's do that. In our number seven spot today, we have the blood eagle. This messed up thing was a ritual method of execution that was detailed in late skaldic poetry. In the two instances where this horrible punishment was mentioned, the victims, who both happened to be members of the royal family, were placed in the prone position. They were laying flat on their tummies, they had their ribs severed from their spine using a sharp tool, and then they had their lungs pulled out through the opening to create a sort of super messed up and really scary and terrifying pair of wings. Both instances where this insane punishment is said to have happened, the person was being punished for patricide or for killing their own father. So I guess definitely don't do that. I'm not really sure what the takeaway from this one is other than, wow, that sounds horrible and I'm really glad we don't do that anymore. I also so really love my dad. In our number six spot today, we have keel hauling. This is a word that I wish I could erase from my vocabulary, as it has to do with one of the most terrible punishments I've ever heard of. But I mean, I guess we've already talked about a bunch of these, so I should be used to it by now. The word for this punishment comes from the Dutch word keelhalen, which apparently means to drag along the keel, and that is exactly what this terrible method was all about. This punishment was usually reserved for sailors, and they would be stripped, tied, and suspended by rope from the mast 
mast of the ship with weights tied to their legs. The rope would be looped beneath the ship so that once the tied up sailor is released, they'd be dragged under the keel of the ship. In the world of the most unsurprising news ever, this method had basically a 100% fatality rate. Wow, it's almost as if you put someone in that situation that threatens their life in multiple ways, they just might not survive. How strange. In our number five spot today, we have the ducking stools. This was a punishment used in the 16th and 17th century England in New England, and it was usually a punishment that was reserved for women. This punishment was given to a woman for doing what was considered unwomanly, whatever that is supposed to mean. Apparently, this included things like having an argument with their husband, fighting with the neighbors, gossiping, and backstabbing. Whoever made these rules had clearly never met a man because newsflash, everyone does literally all of those things. But hey, clearly the logic used in the past was not logical. Basically, this punishment would see a woman being tied up to a stool and then dropped into a lake or stream over and over again. This was actually a punishment method that didn't usually end up in death, but that sounds like the worst consolation prize of all time. In our number four spot today, we have trial by ordeal. This one is aptly named because it really was a whole entire ordeal and one that I'm sure absolutely none of us would have liked to have been a part of. This foolproof ancient judicial practice was used as a test to determine whether someone was was innocent or guilty. Spoiler alert, it was in fact not foolproof at all. In fact, it makes absolutely zero sense. Basically, the accused would be placed in the center of everyone and they would have severe pain inflicted upon them in a multitude of ways. If they survived the pain, they were innocent, and if they didn't, they were guilty. Like, what kind of insanity is that? Apparently, there were a multitude of different ordeals people could be subjected to, like cold water, hot water, hot iron, really whatever option, they were all bad. What an insane idea to test someone's innocence. I'm just saying, I know a lie detector test is only 80 to 90% accurate, but I'll take that over this ordeal. In our number three spot today, we have death by elephants. There's a lot of messed up punishments we've talked about, but this one makes me extra angry because why do we need to include poor innocent animals in our terrible behavior? You know what I mean? Execution by elephant was quite a popular method of capital punishment in certain parts of the world. The elephants would be used to crush, dismember, or just just inflict pain on captives who were being publicly executed. This method was most commonly used by royalty because it was a way they could use the elephants to signify both the ruler's power as well as their ability to control a wild animal. This practice began to die out in the 18th and 19th century as the parts of the world that used this method began to be colonized. Elephants were the chosen animal in part because of their size and strength, but also because of their intelligence, domestic ability, and versatility. Although bears and lions were more popular used in other parts of the world, elephants had the ability to be trained to execute the person in a variety of different ways because they are so smart. I feel bad for the people who died like this, but I also feel really bad for the elephants who were forced to take part as well. In our number two spot today, we have the breaking wheel. All right, folks, buckle up for this one that was once used as a method of capital punishment. This method was most commonly used in Europe from antiquity through the Middle Ages and into the early modern period. This was a super simple device and it really was just just a wheel, but it was absolutely terrible. There are two different methods with the breaking wheel. Either the person would be broken on the wheel or by the wheel. So basically, excuse the gruesome descriptions, but if you were broken by the wheel, basically you'd be placed belly down on a board and then the wheel was slammed down twice on each arm and leg and then on the spine. You'd then be tied to the wheel and hammered to a pole. The pole would be put up for the victim to be left up there to die. Yeah. I know, I said it was gruesome, and we still have another one to get through. Being broken on the wheel involved the limbs of the victim being tied to the wheel and then smashed with a club, and in some places the wheel would spin, just to add a little extra terribleness. The number and the sequence in which the smashes were distributed were not random, however, as they were actually determined in a court sentencing. Alright, let's keep going, we're almost done. In our number one spot today, we have rats. Man, this one really sums up how terrible human beings can be. Rat torture originally originated in ancient Rome, and ever since then, it unfortunately has been a part of the most horrible, gruesome punishments. What was once called a rat trap involved a man being tied down to something, and then a metal enclosure being strapped to his abdomen or chest. Inside this enclosure, there were rats, which the strapped down person can feel walking around, and this is when the person instilling the punishment begins heating the other end of the metal enclosure. Historically, hot coals were usually placed on top, which of course very quickly creates a hot environment for the rat. 
rats inside. From here, the rats begin frantically searching for a way out, because just like us, they have survival instincts. The metal enclosure is too hard to bite into, but a human's flesh is not. You see where this is going. I don't need to say more, but just know that it is very, very painful and very, very horrible. And to make matters worse, this is only one of the terrible rat punishments there have been throughout history. So maybe if there's a part two of this video, we'll talk about another one. How fun would that be? All right, guys, that has been our list for today. Thanks so much for checking it out. I've been your host today, Olivia Kozlowski. Go take a shower. All right, shower this one off. We'll feel better after. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Bye.